Hi, my name is Melinda and this is part two of my Fun with Words and Digital Scrapbook Artist video series. Basically what I did was I went on the internet and I found an image that I like. I copied and pasted it into Digital Scrapbook Artist and I want to create a word and I want my photograph to become my word. So you can have any photograph you want. I just wanted something that had a bit of color to it. So I'm just going to make a little bit of space up here and click on text. Click once on my screen and I'm just going to type out the word squirrel. Click on select to turn off text and I'm going to make this uh, bigger. And I'm also going to change the font because I want it to be a thicker font so the image shows through a lot better. Let's just make this a lot larger. Now the color that I have selected, I'm going to change that. So I'll just click on color and I'll make sure this is to the front and then I'm going to change that with this color right here. Next I'm just going to hold down the control key on my keyboard since this image is selected and holding down my left mouse button I'll just make a copy and set it aside for later use. Now I'm going to take my original font and I am just going to place it somewhere on this photograph where I think there's a lot of colors and once I'm happy with the placement I draw an imaginary box around the photograph and the word that I'm using which is squirrel and going down to the bottom of the screen there is a button at the very end it's called crop to top item click on that once and you will see that instantly whatever photograph you used will um, automatically come through to your text now if I click on this I can move this around it's not locked into place so that's nice next I'm just gonna go over here I'm gonna bring this down so we can see them both on screen a little bit better. And what I want to do is I want to make this as the mat to this. So, you know, you can take any effect you want, but I always like to apply an effect. I'm just going to go down to metal and I just want to find something a little bit soft. And metal number eight looks nice and it does look nice actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thicken this just by going to line, sliding this over here until the thickness is about the size that I want and then I can take my photograph and place it into the outlines. Now if your photograph goes behind your image just leave it selected and move down over here and click on the bring to front button and when I click off of the image you can see that I have a nice outline. Uh, I've got my word with the photograph coming through. I've got a nice mat in the back. But you know what? I just kind of want to add a plastic effect. So I'm just going to click on the front portion of this image and I'm going to go over to plastic and I think I'll click on plastic one and that just gives it a different look, gives it a little bit more dimension. So that is the second way to have fun with words and digital scrapbook artist and I'm off to make video number three. If you have any questions please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca